Hello, everyone. Uh, this is the ending to last week's sermon, uh, the one uh, uh, not politically correct, godly correct. And I'm sorry it, it got cut off, and I'm just going to do the ending for you right here. It's kind of like the story Garth Weifretz Hansen told of a man who bought an old organ, uh, which was absolutely magnificent in his day, but now it was dilapidated, banged up, and hardly played anymore. Now, this guy had some money to burn, to spend, so he called in experts from all over the world, hoping that they could uh, restore it. When they finished, the organ looked like new. It looked just like new. Uh, there were angels on it that uh, were now clean and shiny. There were ornamental carvings on it that had been restored and, and were beautiful. The old varnish was taken off and new varnish was put on. The outside was done. The problem was that the insides of the organ were laying in boxes all over the floor. Uh, the owner continued to advertise uh, for experts to come and, and restore this, this organ but no one could do it. It was just too worn out. It was just too old. Uh, then one day, a little half-blind old man came and knocked on the door. The man's butler laughed at him and said, what makes you think you can fix it? We have had experts from all over the world to come and try and fail. But the owner overheard the discussion and told the man he might as well give it a shot as it did, couldn't hurt anything. So the old stranger set to work on the organ and he worked for several days and finally the organ was operating and sounding like new, sounding wonderful. The man had to ask him how in the world he was able to fix this. And the old fellow replied, because I made it, because I made it. This is what we need to remember in our lives too, no matter what goes wrong or what happens in our lives, God can fix it. He can fix it because he made you. You are holy and dearly loved. And thank you, Jesus, for first loving us. Thank you. And now for the benediction, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may his face shine upon you as you go out in this wonderful world he made just for you spreading his great joy and peace. Go in God's peace. Thank you and may God bless you.